Okay, today I'm going to try something that I have never seen done before. It's something I looked all over YouTube and I never could find anyone that had done it before. And there may be a reason why, but I'm going to give it a try. It's I'm going to try a sink strainer pour with resin. Uh, I've never seen it done. I, I don't know if it's going to work or not, but I'm going to give it a try. And one of the things that I did is I heated my resin. I say I heated. I put it in some warm water just to get the flow a little bit better because that's obviously going to be one of the problems is how well it will flow through the strainer. Uh, I've got three different colored micas. I've got a platinum mica, uh, a malvine, I guess that's how you say that. It's a two-tone mica, kind of a purple color, and then this copperhead mica that I'm going to use. I'm using my Art and Glow resins, two-part resins. I've got, uh, I got some extra bottles here. I'm getting low on that one. Uh, I'm probably going to mix up a little bit more than what I think I'm going to need just because I don't know how well it's going to flow and my goal is to let it flow off the edges of the of the board. This board's only like, I think it's seven and a half inches piece of MDF that I cut up the wood shop and then uh, I sanded it smooth and what I'm going to mix my resin up and I'm going to put a a real thin coat of clear over it to help it flow better so I'm going to put a, a thin coat of clear, heat it up get it where it'll flow and then I'm going to put my strainer on and then pour my colors in and see what happens. So may or may not work, but hopefully it will. We'll give it a try. So I'm going to reset up and we'll mix the resin and we'll get started. Okay, my goal is going to be about three ounces. So I'm going to see what I get out of these two little bottles that I have left. I know three ounces is going to be more than what I need. But like I said, it's I, I don't want to run out. I don't know how well this stuff's going to flow on here, so I may need I may end up wasting a little bit of resin trying to get what I'm looking for with this. So we'll see how much that ends up being. And if I need to, I can open the new bottles. Okay, that was right at one ounce. I tell you what, I'm going to go ahead. So I'm going to take this one up to an ounce and a half. to take it up to three ounces. That'll give us an ounce and a half of each. Okay. All right, so I got my uh, three ounces of resin. So I'm gonna mix this up real good. And what I'll do, I'll, I'll cut out on this because I've got to mix this for five minutes and then I'll come back and I'll fast forward adding, I'm going to make my three colors of resin and then I'm going to leave a little bit of clear in here and I'm going to smear some clear over the top just to kind of give it some flow and then we'll go from there. So I'm going to cut out, mix this up and then I'll come back and I'll show you fast forward going through adding my micas and stuff into the resins. Okay, I lost some video apparently. My, I just looked up my cameras off, so I don't know how much of this I got or didn't get. All I did so far is I just applied a, a thin layer of the clear, just the, the non-colored uh, resin onto this board just to kind of seal it and then hopefully give me a better flow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit it with my heat gun again, just to level it out and get any bubbles popped. Okay, so now I'm going to put my sink strainer in and let's start pouring. Depending on how this goes, I may or may not fast forward through some of this.
Now that's probably going to have some more bubbles come up, so I'm going to let that sit for a while, and then uh, I'll, I'll periodically come back and uh, heat it up again just to pop any more bubbles that come up. But I'm not going to—I'm not really going to try and move the pattern around anymore. So, it does work. Uh, the, the the epoxy resin has got a lot more flow to it once it heats up. So it moves around a lot, so you kind of lost some of the strainer pattern, but you definitely see it in there. So I think this is probably a pretty good success. So I'm going to let it sit for a little while, and then I'll, I'll pop bubbles on it periodically, and then let it quit moving. And you know, and that's the other thing with these micas and this resin is the colors will change, the patterns will change, the depth will change as it sits and dries. Uh, it, it gets that almost a three-dimensional look going to it after a while after it sits it just changes kind of like cells coming up silicone cells coming up in a acrylic painting these things change just kind of on their own so I'm gonna let it sit for a little while I'll pop bubbles on it and we'll come back and take a look at it after it's set maybe 10 or 15 minutes put the heat gun on this thing again to dry some of the pops more of the bubbles I don't know whether you can see it here good or not but I got these little streaks across here and they look really really cool so I kind of changed my mind I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna blow this thing and see if I can push those streaks across all the way because I really, really like the look of it. So. Just gives it a little bit more dimension in it. And I, you see I got a few little swirls right there and those will stay in there and those will keep coming out as it dries. So anyway, I'm going to let it sit for a little bit longer and then we'll come back and look at it. Okay, there it is. I ended up with a little glob of, I don't think I can see it anymore, a little glob of the pigment that didn't, or the mica that didn't get completely dissolved over in here. And I dug that out with a toothpick. And I've blown the bubbles a couple different times and so it's got lots of textures and stuff in it. Uh, it'll show up even more after it's dried. This has been probably maybe 15-20 minutes after the original pour, maybe a little bit longer. So I will take it, and if you don't know, I've got, I'll put a link to my uh, Instagram account. I always put finished pictures on my Instagram once these things are dried and completely finished. So I'll post a picture on my Instagram account. Uh, it's fractalburn.com. It's, it's associated with my other channel. But anyway, this is, uh, it came out really cool. I like it. There's no reason you can't do it. It's just a little more difficult, and it doesn't really come out with the exact same results as acrylic strainer pour, but... I like it. I'm not going to get those patterns with any other way other than using a strainer. So anyway, I appreciate you watching. Uh, I got links to all the stuff that I use, the resins, the heat gun, different stuff like that in the bottom in the description for Amazon. You know, if you click on those, I get a portion of what you buy. It doesn't cost you any more, but a portion of that comes to me to help me pay for supplies and video equipment and all that other stuff. So I appreciate it if you go down there and do some shopping. And, uh, I appreciate you watching. Please like, please subscribe, and uh, share my videos. Thank you.